Uh, Amy, I'm going to get you on next. Can you just put your camera on very quickly? We're, we're going to just literally be on for two or three minutes. I'm sorry, Amy, we can't get you on for very long. Uh, okay, we're going to get you on now. You can turn your camera off or leave it on, whatever you're comfortable with. Are you ready to come on? There we go. Okay. Amy, if you could please put a question and I'll get Dr. Imran to answer this one and then we'll get the next guest on. Please go ahead. Sure. My classic question is just why do you believe in God? Lovely. All right. Dr. Imran, if you could answer that and then we'll get the next guest on. So Amy, why are you interested in the question? I am interested in the question because I'm a counter apologist and I think that theism is one of the great superstitions in today's world. And what's led you to that conclusion? Generally speaking, how theists interact within the world, believing that not only are they not going to have this life, but another. And so it makes them base judgments. It makes them have possibly negative interactions or not even resolve interactions in this life because they think they're going to go on to another. So you think that because people who are theists believe in another life, they behave badly? It So for good people to do good, oh, that's normal. Bad people to be bad, but good people to be bad, that takes religion. Have you heard of Stalin? Sure. Uh, Pol Pot? Yes. Not great farmers. Yeah. Not great theists either. No. They were atheists. Turns out that bad people are atheists and theists. Yeah. So it doesn't hold. Are you saying that because there are bad atheists, therefore theism should be a positive force in the world? No, I'm saying that your reason for the interest in the question doesn't make sense. Because if you think that um, the, your, the problem that you have with theists or theism is that because theists behave badly in the world, and then you should have an equal problem with atheists because they behave just as badly if not worse i would say but in the, the world. difference between someone so what, what the question really is is what is the what's your interest in the question if you're saying that because there are bad theists then you just as, as you said there are oh. bad atheists but my point is not that they're bad theists i'm saying that they're good people doing bad things because of theism so that's that's where you have to establish is because of theism so sure. most people, if you, so why don't why don't we um, why don't you give me some of that information so I can understand where you're coming from? Can I give you the nose on the head for my example? Would be something like 9/11, which I think was a problem of fundamentalism, and not of bad Muslims, not of bad people. No, so you're misunderstanding my question. We okay. know bad things Maybe have happened. Maybe we know bad things have happened. Okay. The, the, the question for you is, how, you have to establish that the religion is the, what's causing the theist belief. Belief in the existence of God sure. is the cause of this behavior. Why do you think that an event like that happened? Why do you think? What's the main no, that, reason? That's my question to you. Oh, theism. You're asking it back to me. I would say it's a religion. I would say specifically Islam and that religion, but it could have been any others. If, you know, We have people here that bomb abortion clinics, Christians, and... So, theism. No, but that's that, that's just say, just as saying what you said in the first place. You, to establish that theism causes this, you have to give mm -hmm. something information-wise. Either if you're if you're going to blame a specific theistic religion, uh -huh. uh, you've chosen Islam with the, the sort of pejorative claim for tonight uh, of nine eleven. Yeah, sure. Uh, because you're talking to Muslims, it makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, and that nine eleven was somehow inspired by Islam. Can you evidence? I would say that taken by what Osama bin Laden said he was doing it for, what the messengers said that they were trying to send a message to a sinful West. And so that it was kind of clear why this was done for religious so again, fundamentalist reasons. Again, Amy, my, because yeah. they said it, and we just kind of have to take them at what Dr. they're saying. Imran, Dr. Dr. Imran, if I could just ask, uh, Amy, do you know what Osama bin Laden actually said on the matter? What? You're indulging. 
he, no, no, he was asked, but your religion forbids killing innocent people. Do you know what he said? What? I'm not killing them for religion. He said, you're killing my people here. And so I'm going to kill your people there. That's what he said. Who are his people? Middle East. He said in the Middle East, you've taken up, you've, you've put bases in, you've got military in the Middle East. Um, many Muslim countries are being attacked. So these are, these are my people, basically. He said, you're killing us and you're killing our children. We're going to do the same to you. That's exactly what, that's his words, Amy. It wasn't to commit jihad. That's not what he said. Do you think that... No, no, Amy, you need to get your facts straight, you see. When you say Osama bin Laden said he's doing... Would you be able to give me a reference for why, why I said that? Google it, you'll find it in five minutes. It. Less than that, maybe two minutes you'll find it. Have you looked at the works of Professor Robert Pape or um, from the University of Chicago or uh, Scott Atrum? I have not. Okay, I, I Google these people as well, and their studies on terrorism and suicide bombing, and they've interviewed hundreds of people to accumulate the statistics, and they've advised governments on anti-terror and anti-extremism. And you hear what they say. It's nothing to do with religion. You look at what the MI5 secret service here says. It's nothing to do with religion. At best, this is the MI5 saying, at best, they have a rudimentary Can understanding... I of Islam. It's geopolitical. Sure. Can Geo I quote Osama bin Laden? I have sworn to only live free, even if I find better, bitter the taste of death. I don't want to die humiliated to see you. I support any Muslims, whether here or abroad. I'm fighting so I can die a martyr and go to heaven to meet God. Yeah, but he said specifically when he was questioned on the subject, why are you doing this when you're targeting innocent people? He said, I'm simply doing what they're doing to me. That's what he said. Yeah, because we're attacking Muslims. It's so a religious I, what, I'd, what I'd advise you to do, Amy, study the works of Professor Robert Pape. Robert Pape? Professor Robert Professor Robert, Robert Pape. Pape. And the works of Scott Atrum. Okay. Scott Atrum. Study their works because they're academic works. They've actually gone into and delved into what is it that motivates people to do these acts. And what they found is it's geopolitical. Religion is often used as a means to simply nullify or, 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 or reduce a person's, let's say, guilt on the matter. But it does, it's not the catalyst. It's not what makes them go and do what they're doing. Can we separate Islam, the religion, from the politics? We can separate those two things? Amy, Amy I don't understand where this is leading to now. Because I'm for thinking, Muslims, thinking, when you're saying I'm it's thinking, geopolitical, I'm you're thinking, saying, yes, I'm, it's for about us, Muslims. No, what, against... I, what I advise you to do, Amy, mm -hmm. is study the works of the people that I've given you and that might enlighten you as to what it actually may. motivates it these may. people. You see, you're so desperate to try to create this link between Islam and terrorism. When Imran has asked you, what is your evidence for that? You've provided nothing, basically. Except for 9-11, which... I, so that, far, we have seen Osama bin Laden said it was for religious not, reasons. That's not evidence to give correlation between Islam and. So let me just help. Let me help Amy with this. Just okay. give me one second. So, Amy, the way to the way to do it is, um, you'd get that you'd get the religious sources because quoting a guy, whoever that guy with all respect is, is not the same as quoting religion. Okay. The, the religious sources. So you'd have to go to the Quran, you'd have to go to some hadith, something that would tell you that it's okay to carry out whatever you think is a, a bad thing. And then at that point, so like you're talking about 9-11, something that justifies 9-11 from the religious texts, uh, that's not ambiguous, yeah? So if you bring in something ambiguous, then obviously that's ambiguous, it's not uh, definitive. And then we can have a conversation. Now the problem is, is that if I were to, um, it still doesn't help your point because your 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 reason for being interested in the question of the existence of God was to do with the fact that people do bad things, and bad people have. Uh, you've said that religious people have religious motives for doing bad things. So very specifically, good people do good things, bad people do bad things. But if you want good people to do bad things, you need religion. I mean, this is these are sort of sound bites that don't have any merit. And, and these are sort of widely available in the West, you know, uh, you know, 
it takes good men. I not think to it's do extremely to hard to separate that event from religion. And I also want to point out that I'm not trying to tie Islam to terrorism because no, it could have been a different religion with a different no, I get thing. It. I get it. I understand that you're not being malicious. Uh, you know, I'm not. I know that you're not like that. We've had conversations before. Um, but what I'm saying to you is that this approach that you're taking, um, I was. This is why I didn't answer your question directly. I was trying to understand what's the motivations, and the motivations that you brought forward don't really, you know, for me, they don't really hold water in the sense that you said that it was about uh, you were concerned about bad things happening, and then you said that the the, the bad things were uh, religiously motivated. I asked you about uh, evidencing that, and I was really trying to get you to look at the sources, but you evidence sort of, again, events or you event evidence sort of um, people who are speaking uh, as if they represent Islam and Muslims. I'm not saying they represent Islam. Yeah. I'm saying that he thinks he represents Islam and that he did that on behalf of his views of religion. Sure. But if there's a, if there's a vegetarian who eats hamburgers but says he's a vegetarian, that's not my problem. If, if I'm a vegetarian, but do you think he's that misrepresented? No, I think he's a fund a crazy fundamentalist. Over let me, let me make it very straightforward. Do you think he's that misrepresented? I'll, I'll make it okay. make it very straightforward. If there is someone who uh, is killing innocent people, and he says this is from Islam, they're wrong. Whoever they are, they're wrong. Now that's a categorical statement, and I can bring texts from the the religious sources themselves to evidence this. Now. The, the point isn't that isn't the point the, it was the point that stands just because someone is behaving in a certain way you you can't generalize that to a uh, something you're associated with so I, I, i'm not i'm not saying this to you in a negative way so this is this is part of the um western narrative so when people uh, of a certain differenceness so we won't say race or but the different people if they do something bad the questions are raised. What's wrong with these people? Why are they behaving in this way? It's it's generalized. Anything bad is generalized. What's wrong with their culture? They like this. Uh, if uh, if someone and if someone does something good, uh, they associate. They, they don't risk. They don't generalize this. He's such a good person. It, they almost make it. He's an exception to the rule. Conversely, if someone, uh, a Caucasian person from you know the West, does something wonderful, it's a Oh, sorry, something bad. This is a person with mental illness. Surely you understand that this person must be something must be wrong with them. We wouldn't accept, you know, there's an assumption that there's that the collective cannot be held accountable for the actions of the individual. So what they do is they generalize for for Muslims, and we're talking about Muslims here, they generalize the negative and they specify the positive. And when it comes to Caucasians doing the same thing, they um, specify the negative. In they fairness, that my... mental, mental health issues, and then they uh, generalize the goodness. That, so generally, these people are good. You know, uh, there's nothing wrong with them. They have a wonderful culture, and they, of my they're not invading loads of countries ages. and killing millions of people in the modern age, and holding countries to ransom with their IMF policies and uh, overthrowing governments all over the world, and uh, you know taking over natural resources and making uh, African children dig for cobalt so that we can have mobile phones every year. And they're not, you know, th this is a, and this is sort of the problem that we're having. So it would be really useful. It'd be really, really useful if when you, if you're going to have a question about the, uh, the, the existence of God, a great question to actually have a good motivation behind, because I think the motivation is important. I think that, is a good motivation i think i could stretch it out to where we have christians here who very much specifically bomb abortion clinics because of their religious views now you could say amy, they are crazy amy, amy can an atheist be encouraged to do very bad things yes so therefore it's not religion necessarily that motivates it's just the fact that people can be brainwashed or persuaded to do bad things right Therefore, bad things can happen for other really reasons besides religion. So, so I would agree with you. I so basically now you've made a general comment on people of religion or people outside of religion that can be brainwashed to do bad things, basically. But with an atheist, when they have someone like a Pol Pot 
or a mall, and they end up removing all of the farmer's land and giving it to public property, and everyone dies. It wasn't because they were an atheist. It was because they were stupid. And so when you have these events with religion, a lot of these individuals, when you give arguments, not... Uh, but Amy, you know you just did exactly what I said. Exactly. Which is what? You've... You, you've 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 spe because of the he's you specified the the negative with this individual. Mm. He's stupid. He doesn't represent atheism. Of oh no, he not. represents atheism a hundred percent. It's not about. So, what, oh, he, so he did he act on? Atheism. Did he act on the behalf of atheism? Did Is he representing think? atheism? Were his actions in killing millions of people because of atheism? But walk me through this. Did he remove the farmland because of atheism? No, I'm not interested. Um, what I'm asking you. That's what I care the about. The bad things he did, whatever the, whatever you want to do, are they because of atheism? No. And I'm saying the okay, bad so things now, that many religious exactly people the point do I'm is making. because this is the point of I'm religion. Making. I made this point earlier, exactly the point I made, that for them, you're specifying the negative. Just as they say, oh, you know, when there's a, an attack somewhere in the, in the West and they say, um, uh, you know, the, the, the cause is being investigated, you know, 100 percent this was a, a non-Brown individual who has committed an atrocity. And then later on, they'll say, yeah, he was mental, mentally ill. And uh, as, as soon as they say a terrorist act foiled, you know, or a terrorism shot dead, killing, you know, this person's a brown guy and they're generalizing this to, you know, everyone. And, I'm and not you, saying you did, you not did the same. You made Pol Pot. You made Pol Pot rather than a, a, a some a very smart, horrific guy, very smart, able to control a country, um, you know, uh, rule over these people and carry out all these horrible things. No, no, someone not stupid by any standard. You said no. This guy is acting because he's stupid, and 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 that's. I would be honest, respectfully with you. I understand the need for that. So when I see people who say, "This guy here, he, you know, he's advocating blowing up, you know, uh, such and such innocent people," I say, "Well, this guy's stupid." But that's not what the narrative is, and what you've come with is really the same type of narrative and i would you know you're smarter than that amy you know we've had conversations before but you, you know better but when people are making those sort of threats they are more immoral or evil than they are stupid it's actually a separation there are leaders that are doing bad who are terrible human beings and so i don't think that pol pot killed people for atheism I think I am convinced because of fundamentalist views that Osama bin Laden, like many other religious fundamentalists, did those for his religious beliefs. Okay, I appreciate you're convinced of that, but there's no evidence. And this is, and an, an really, we're sort of going in a bit of a circle. So, no, not only that, Imran, not only that, but it was. And wasn't, I have family night in a minute or yeah. two. Okay. Imran, wasn't, it, wasn't Hitler and some of the experiments that they did, biogenetics and what, uh, whatever, they, they felt that um, they were a superior race. The Aryan race was a superior race to everybody else. And if gypsies, black people, disabled people, Jews, basically, whoever they were, they deserved to die. They were lesser human than they were, right? Well, now, well, hold on, hold on, hey, Amy. Now, through atheism, you can actually make that argument. Of course you can. You can't make the use for lesser or subhumans or can. any of that. Of course no. you can. Amy, of course you can. People have. People no, in have fact, made in fact, oh, uh, I'm sure people have eugenics. Yeah. Non eugenics. Eugenics, was, eugenics. Eugenics was the brainchild of yeah. the Darwinian evolutionary model. Yes, no, eugenics. It was, it was, was the it... different because what happened was that the idea was that the the white people were more evolved uh, than the the brown people and the black people, and uh, there was a hierarchy. It was yeah. uh, the white, the Caucasians, and then there was the the Chinese, and then there were the brown people and then they were the black people from africa and this was the in terms of evolutionary pathway this was what was posited Eugenics and this, led, and this is one of the reasons this is one of the justifications why uh the the when when the west went around colonizing the world and killing people and treating people inhumanly for uh, you know half a millennia taking their resources and getting them to sort of dig up gold and you know there's a there's a horrific picture you can see online of a of a, a father from Africa, an African gentleman, 
sitting on a, uh, a, a, a side of a, 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 a flat area looking at a, a hand and a foot. And, and the caption explains that this is a father who's looking at the hand and the foot of his four-year-old daughter who, who had a hand and foot chopped off because he didn't give the right amount of gold to the colonizers who were colonizing his country. Just look at the history of uh, the Congo and what happened what happened there, and uh, which was a country that, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, I forgot the Belgium guy. I forgot his name now. He went oh, to, yeah. yeah, I mean, literally Brutal. annihilated yeah. whole yeah. countries. And and the, uh, this, the, where did this come from? This was a uh, this was the social impact of the Darwinian theory of evolution that led to eugenics. Yeah, this is what this is why it was okay. It was there were some people that. Um, thought it was okay to do these to these people. We're civilizing these savages, and a lot yeah. of the negativity you see now in the uh, Leopold, that's some brother more others put it in there. Yeah, but eugenics was a pseudo scientific belief system that is not accepted by any mainstream modern science. Yeah. And no, but at the time, this is the thing we're talking about at the time. So at the time, the idea was that actually there is a, uh, even amongst the human beings, there is evolutionary differences. And, and differences. was the person making it, did they put themselves on the top? And, and like you, the people we you, dislike, they're like, we're going to put them on the well, bottom? Absolutely, people tend to do that when they're the ones enacting the things. But the point is that if we're talking about motivations, is that the motivations is we're trying to weed out the genetic imperfections in human beings to make them the uber-human, the uber-mensch, to be able to uh, go on and... Uh, produced the the perfect race and when you do that you generally make like the king and queen of england you generally make inbreeding no, that you generally you want a good genetic variety the farther away it's actually it's become, it. uh, now thank god it's become uh um pseudoscience but at the time it wasn't and uh, the, the thing the thing that we have as uh, you know i would that something that was theistically speaking and uh, we're told that um you know, every life is valuable. Uh, humans are intrinsically valuable things. Uh, if you kill one human being, it's like you killed all of humanity. And if you save one human being, it's like you saved all of humanity. So I have good reasons because of my theistic beliefs and my religion to uh, understand and appreciate human beings, whoever they are, and to know that they have a value in the sight of God, and therefore we are all equal in the sight of God. Uh, the difference is the only difference is in terms of how we are uh, ranked. It would be only be known to God, and that would be on our um, ability to submit to His requirements of us. And from my evolutionary standpoint, I think all humans are equally 4.5 billion year, years evolved. The only person that's more slightly evolved than us are our children. That's how population genetics work. But so you are my brothers. I refuse. And before I, I, I do have to go, but I'll keep on coming back on. The last thing I want to say, because I will say this, it doesn't matter what sort of attacks or whatever, whatever. Nobody should ever be prejudiced towards someone for having religious belief, no matter how spicy I am. These are always breaking bread conversations and yeah. And you should like, follow, and subscribe. We, we, we appreciate you, Amy, and thank you for coming. And, 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 and to be honest, Amy, we don't judge atheists when they go and bomb all these countries around the world. Because, no, because, because their ideology is that, the ideology is that we're just all animals. We're all just different species. Just like the just like the lion um, basically jumps on the uh, zebra and, 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 and tears him apart. There's no difference between us. Everything that we set when it comes to value is arbitrary. It's just it's all matter. It's just all matter. It's all just social consensus. And if I have to bomb your country to steal your resources, guess what? It's absolutely fine. There's no accountability. Who cares? But a little bit of point there. Most Americans, unfortunately, 60% plus are young earth evangelicals. And so the people bombing do not believe in evolution. I just want to put that out there, unfortunately. And yet there are 40% of them that do, right? Yes, or they believe in some sort of mix of theistic evolution. And so, but survival of the fittest doesn't mean you can go out and bomb people. So Those are Amy, people Amy, who I the think point want is, people's resources. And Amy, just, the point is... People Maybe. behave badly. P people do the most horrendous activities. You can use atheism to justify that because, as I said to you, everything becomes arbi arbitrary. All values become arbitrary. It just becomes a 
figment of your imagination or your social consensus. There's but, no other anchor beyond that. So you can justify quite quite cleverly, you could justify that the going and bombing and stealing somebody else's resources because we're all animals yeah. anyway. It's just matter. We're no, all stardust. It doesn't matter. Moral. Really. Sorry? It's not moral. They should be called upon that. We should hold our politicians if they voted for that. I use atheism to talk about morality then. We can't. We can use things like secular humanism, mm -hmm. however. But all, all of that is simply arbitrary arbitrary things that you've set. By in mind. How... Yeah, but somebody else's mind could say something very different to your mind, right? In my, But from my view, there is no one else. When you talk about the eternal arbitrary, the eternal mind, I don't believe that exists. And it's, so it leaves us with just our minds. Yeah, which is basically, if you if you believe that, it's fickle. It changes through time, changes through culture, changes through, uh, um, you know, um, your sensibilities when it comes to nurture, nature, all of these things. It varies. It changes over time. What was immoral 100 years ago, it may be moral today and vice versa. Many things, as you said, were very moral 100 years ago, 150 years ago. Heinous acts were committed all over the world by people who felt that they were superior because they 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 were they were evolved more than the people they were killing the people they were destroying basically and stealing from so you can so you can use atheism you can use a religion um and misguide people by misquoting things by um deliberately tr mistranslating things and you can trick people into doing horrible things and just like you would say an atheist is stupid for doing something like that i would say that somebody who is a theist and does that is equally stupid for doing something like that because it goes it fu fundamentally goes against the core teachings of the religion whereas it doesn't go fundamentally against atheism to go and do bad things because you can justify it rationally if you have five things that are making humans do something bad and religion is one of those five things and you say well look there's four other things so why are you picking on religion well because it's still one of the five things and i also think it's actually a proportionally larger than many of i think if we were to get rid of Theism is a conceptual idea. Many more people would be on board with modern science. They would be on board. I think we're getting more moral. I think when we stop using eugenic subspecies like things because we have secular humanistic like properties, we are getting more empathetic, more kind, more fair. I think we are going to continue to do that. So what's your evidence for that statement? Religion causes more. What's your, what's your evidence for that? No, but that's not even the argument, Amy, you made. Um, we're not we're not saying to you that um, that it, there are many other things that also say bad things. We're saying to you that Islam specifically, you're talking about Islam, is not one of the things Game that causes sense. those sort of behaviors. And to to argue that you'd have to bring something from the religion to establish that yes, this is that. And then if you were to analyze any historical events, you'd have to establish that this was the reason why certain things were carried out. Um, and I don't know how you would do that because it's not, not only is it not within the religious texts, none, none of the historical atrocities you may point to are going to be, they're going to be because of uh, grabbing power or grabbing land or nothing to do with the actual, what the religion is requiring you to do. Um, but I think, you know, you had family waiting. I think you were saying that you were, uh, Indeed. So, uh, maybe we should let you to get to that. I'll keep so on coming on. Together. Thank you so very much, gentlemen. And I will, I'll say it again. You should all like and subscribe down there. Thank you for all having the best. me Take on. Care. Thank you, Amy. Amy, do study the works of uh, Professor Robert Pape and um, Scott Atrum. I think you'll find that very um, informative. Shall do. Thank you for coming on.